All right, Kenman here, and today's unboxing was a quick um, impulse purchase, if you will. Uh, I came across this great sale price, basically just went for it, semi-blind. Uh, what will it be? Was it worth it? Is it gold? Is it junk? Let us find out. Before we start, not sponsored by anyone, and I purchase everything at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. If you'd like to see some high resolution photos, I am on Instagram, KDK in 4K. KDKIN 4K. That's right, KDK in 4K over on Instagram. Got some nice 200 megapixel photos of my knives over there. Go check them out. Follow. I will follow you. We can have some fun. We are making videos today. It is a Rometz bag on the floor. This is my second knife from Rometz. It's been a while since I got that last one. I can't remember if the box was like this or not. It doesn't matter. Let's go. All right. Box on the floor. Ooh. That's where I got that tool from. The other room at. I have one of these and I couldn't remember where where that came in. It's always nice to have an extra one of those. You keep it in your car or a little emergency bag or something just in case you happen to need a quick tightening. Nice little uh, cloth in a pouch. Other half of the box on the floor. And we have the knife. In a mini bag to the floor. And we got dust like we had peanuts, but no peanuts. All right, we're here. There it is. <sighs> Trying to clean off those little white flakes. Okay, we have done it. Bloop. Does it look like? I'm sorry. This is the Remet Seahorse. I'm going to have a seahorse. That's how they swim, right? <laughs> I've had seahorses. Uh, we can talk about that in another uh, adventure. Anyway, uh, this is the Romette seahorse. Um, like I said, I was just kind of doing the normal look. Wow, what a nice little small, cool looking knife. And this was half price. I apologize. You go check it out now. It may no longer be at half price. Um, I think this is like a 40 or $45 knife, but it was 50% off and stuck. And so at that price, so it ended up being like 20 whatever dollars. D2 steel, G10 scale for the die project. Bing. Um, so yeah, it's almost a no brainer at that price for about 20 bucks. Something with D2. Um, I like I said I do have one other Remet. I you know it had some interesting qualities, but it was a decent knife. So I figured with that company I could go ahead and give it a shot. Here we are. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it has a flipper tab, which works really good. Let's see if I can make it fail by doing it really weak, as soft as possible. It's got a nice detent, so it it's got enough power. It's pretty solid that uh, it requires very little. You just get that pressure built up and boom, the blade fires all the way out. That's nice. Got a little fuller hole for a miss. <laughs> Flick out fairly easy. It's kind of a, the access to that fuller hole because this finger notch kind of cuts up, gets in the way. I almost can't, almost can't get your thumb in there at all to do that because of that notch. So that's an interesting thought that they decided to go with. Although the flick out does work just fine. It's kind of like the CJRB Hectare seems like the access isn't great, but it works. So that's kind of what matters is if you can get in there and flick it out like that, then good enough, right? Um, clip swap. There is no lefty pocket clip swap, which is a sad face for me as a lefty, but doesn't keep me from buying knives. I have several knives that you cannot do that. And... I still may give it a shot. I carry more than one knife on occasion. And I have this side pocket on. The, so like a lefty, you would put the clip here and then you would put it in your pocket over to the side over here. 
so that the seam is where the blade is. Well, I have a secondary back pocket right here. And so one of these, I can put it in that pocket since this pocket goes like this and it's riding up against this seam. So therefore the blade is actually in the spot being protected by your pants with a right clip still being carried on the left side, which is pretty cool. I dig it. Anyway, um, okay, what are we looking at here? Centering, the blade is got We got a nice shine going. They, they polished up the metal really nice. Um, but that blade is centered well. It is solid. No real movement whatsoever. That flipper tab is easy to hit. Works great. Let's see. The, I have some, I've noticed that it because this access right here is so deep, you get in there like that and you, the blade can't go as far if your thumb's way down in there. And then you get that pop back open kind of a thing a lot. So I'll have to, See, there it was right there. You got to try to get it down far enough. So that's just something. Each knife is a little different. You got to learn how it works, what works well. It's got some jimps on there where my thumb sits. You can't ride up in there. You could, but you'd be cutting yourself. Um, but those jimps for your thumb, got some larger jimps. But the thumb sits in there nice. That blade shape is nice. The point, the way this shape is, you can get in there with that point, but you can still get some nice draws and... I like this. It's a smaller knife. Here I am getting more of these smaller knives and enjoying them. So there's this nice, these cuts here and this little cutout in the G10. So uh, when we do the die, that already sticks out pretty good. But I've noticed on die projects, it tends to make the textures uh, pop or stick out a little bit more. So that should be interesting. Ooh, the back spacer with this big lanyard. A uh, hole is a piece of G10. So with that and the die, we can do a two-tone here. So we could do the scales one color, and then we could do this in another color that could accent it a little bit. Comment below. Die project suggestions. Two-tone. Bing and bing. What do we think? What would we like to see? Should be interesting with these grooves. That'll, that'll pop nicely. This is a fun little knife. So, smaller knife, it's basically a three finger hold. My, right, my pinky does get on there if I kind of get up there tight and I can feel the end, but if I kind of loosen up, the pinky will basically lose any handle to grab onto. I do have a larger hand, but I am noticing I do start to enjoy these smaller knives a little bit more. Let's get some nice close-ups here. So the liners are not nested at all, <clears throat> but they are um, skeletonized out for some weight. Uh, it says Remet right there, D2 right there. So the branding is very small, very subtle. Like from a distance like this, you almost don't even notice it. So that's kind of nice. I appreciate that. Looks like the pivot is probably not a captive pivot, but just because it has a tool hole on both sides does not mean it is not a captive pivot there are a lot of um knives that uh what are that that um that are like that that are a captive pivot so that's not necessarily the sign that it isn't um yeah okay let's get in here close i do like the design and the shape of this nice little knife i never noticed this before i didn't really look too much at romettes i do have one like i said but when you find one that's like that price, you know, half price, you really got to look and be like, well, what is the knife? Is it worth it? I've been getting some of these cheaper knives that is cheaper Gerber and uh, uh, Sativian and stuff that I'm probably going to start not getting those anymore unless it's at least a D2, which still D2 isn't, you know, it can corrode. I have one of my beaters, but it still is a great knife. So, yeah. Um... All right, we're looking at about seven inches total, right on the money right there. The blade is two and three quarters to two and seven eighths with about a two and three quarter cutting surface with just a little bit of a curve to it. A little sharpening choil or big sharpening choil area. 
and man the handle would be four inches without that little lanyard tip but with that little lanyard tip it's about four and an eighth and width about a half inch all right I compare everything with the pyrites I really like the pyrite is a great EDC knife it's a good kind of mid-size um, so the pyrite is just a little bit longer, barely, on both the tip and the handle. Handle's pretty close to the same if you include that that little full, uh, lanyard hole. And then the, the cutting surface of the blades is near identical if you just bring the cutting surface to each other. Um, yeah, pretty similar to the pyrite, a little bit smaller. I grabbed a couple, let's see... This is my other Remet. I'll zoom out for a second here. This uh, Remet Rhino is the, the first model button lock. Their first model button lock has a detent to it. Okay? So it's kind of a weird design. They re redesigned it to be a normal like button lock where when you push the button, it just swings free. But this one, it does not. But when it's open, see how it closes really nice? But when you push that button, you can't it won't swing out, so you would literally have to open it. But like I said, button for closing works great. Flicks out. Oh, I was ah, that was my fault. That was dumb. So flicks out really well, and if you're not holding the button, it'll stay out. But yeah, and then the button, boom, it closes great. So the action on this knife works really well. You cannot flip the pocket clip to the other side on this one either. But I do enjoy this knife. It is pretty nice. I was thinking about getting the the upgraded or the, the newer version with the, the, be, the I don't know if I want to say better button lock. Because this, I mean, it's unique. But it works. So it has that front flipper as well. It's a nice little knife. I, I can dig it. Um, it is a little bit bigger. Handle, just a little bit longer. Blade, about a quarter inch longer. Cutting surface, definitely longer with that larger belly on this uh, Remet Rhino. Uh, comment below, what Remets do you have? Which one should I look at? One of the other smaller knives I got recently is this little Vosti Chipmunk. I figured this was kind of a smaller knife. I could do some comparisons. But it's definitely larger than the Chipmunk by a good quarter inch, half inch on the top and the bottom. So it's, it's, this is like a mid-sized smaller knife, is that what you call it? Uh, another one I got recently was this Mini Sheepdog, really light, nice little button lock. So same kind of thing, the Mini Sheepdog is a little bit smaller. So these smaller size knives that I've been getting, oh jeez, come on. The Mini Pyrite, I did the laser mark on that, what do you think? Check it out, right there. But yeah, the little mini pyrites are fun. Fifth pocket carries on. That's going to be something that I'm going to carry probably all the time now as a secondary. I just like them unless I can find another one. I got a Kaiser Banish coming soon, which is another small one. Anyway, all right. Um, yeah, Remets. Like I said, if you have some other Remets that I should check out, let me know. Comment below and um, I will consider it. But this is the Remet Seahorse. Like I said, uh, check it out. Even at retail price, I think it's a little, little only over 40 bucks. If that sale's still going on, it was half price, but this is probably a week after that. Um, I've got several videos kind of recorded. I've got myself ahead, which is nice. Um, but I'll continue to keep putting out a video every single day. No worries about that. Uh, more unboxings to come, more laser marks up soon. I've um, been doing some interesting stuff with the dye projects. And uh, what? More anodizing? i got to get some more titanium anodizing going soon. I just did another fade dye. A lot of stuff going on with the channel. I uh, start doing some live stuff pretty soon so you can interact while we're actually doing something like a dye project. I think that's going to be fun. And uh, yeah, Remet Seahorse. Oh, jeez. <laughs> My righty flick out is weak sauce. I tell you what, that is difficult. Why? Um, is it the same access on both sides? Ha! Huh. I happen to slam it down on the table at the same time. I need to push out a little more than up. But yeah, it's kind of strange because my lefty, no problem. Uh, everybody has sides that work better. 
Okay, where was I? I was ending it. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to see more. <laughs> Helps me out and I really appreciate it. Stay sharp. I'll see you soon.